Okay, so I just got home from um, taking Raven out. Um, she was very well behaved, like always. I actually took um, some uh, video with my iPhone because I wasn't planning on it. Okay, ready? Pull, pull, pull back. Good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Here, should we have a treat? Let's get a treat. Oh, have a chicken meat. Chicken meatballs are really, really good. Um, so here's my hippo collection, by the way. This is not all my hippo collection. I have another hippo collection outside um, my my door, but here's my my inside my spillover hippo collection because I um, I have so many. This is my newest one right here. That actually came like three days ago. I was feeling sick and sorry for myself, and so I went on eBay and bought a hippo. Sometimes that happens. Um, when I when I don't feel good, you know, you seek ways to make yourself feel better, and um, and my feel good better is spending money and I like to buy hippos. But don't worry, lots of these our gifts and stuff are found here's my little I found these guys on eBay that it's a whole little band I think those guys are too cute and then lots of them like I said are gifts from other people up here down there there's, I'm not giving you another treat I don't know why you think you're getting another treat you silly dog Two books down there. And then I also, while I'm on this, I um, redid my rack. Um, I got a new, this is a new rack. And this is a new table. Hi, Ziv. Um, that my dad helped me put together. And a new rug also. So I'm very pleased with it. These slide in really nice and, uh, and easy. Um... And so I've got a couple boys in each of those, and then my girls are over there, and then when I have babies, they'll be here. But, um, yeah, so I'm really excited. And then, of course, I have my snakes that are under the desk. These are my yearlings that um, are still growing. And then, oh, hey, Sully, what you doing, buddy? You just hanging out? Seeing what's what? It's like, you. So, um, anyways, so I'm going to post this first. This will be my first intro video, and then um, I will uh, let you see the, um, the videos that I just took at Target. So it's a little out of order. It's, this will be first, and then I'll show you the videos at Target. An interesting note good girl, is that uh, we actually saw another dog at... Sorry, my nose is so... Um, so runny. I don't know why. Um, we saw another dog at Target, and I didn't notice it until she said something. Um, and, uh, oh, this is Romeo's ashes. Romeo. I'll show you that in a second. Let me finish my story. And so, um, and so I, um, it was in a cart, so it wasn't a real service dog. And, um, but, you know, she told me it was, but I'm not about to get into it and I'm not the service dog police so I just said okay but it didn't yap or anything so that was pleasant but um you'll see that in the um in the video so this is Romeo here's the sculpture and a painting it looks just like him and there he is back there I had to euthanize him when I got sick um because uh he had bad lameness issues and um, he was only 13. And um, that's my boy. Here's his halter. St. Francis of Assisi. His papers and all this stuff. Um, but, but yeah, and his stall sign. But uh, So anyways, I had to euthanize him and that was really sad. And here are sculptures of all my other horses that I've had. There's Romeo. That's Dusty. Wyatt. Belle. Willow, Ghost, and Flame. Did everybody get? 
that's not in the order I got them in, but those are all the horses that I've ever owned, and I painted those ones myself. This other one right here, um, my friend painted for me. Well, I paid her to paint it for me, so, but, um, but yeah, so, anyways, there are my little sculptures, and Raven is licking her foot. I don't know why you're licking your foot. But anyway, so she was awesome today, as always, and um, I'll see if I can upload those um, those videos, figure out how to upload, because um, I took them on my, uh, my phone instead of the camera, so I don't even know how to upload them yet, so I'm going to have to try to figure it out. So hopefully you'll get to see those next. Um, sorry for the long video. Oh, Sully went away. Sully, there you are. What are you doing? Huh, Sullivan? Come here. Come here. He's like, mm, no, I don't think so. So, all right. There we go, huh, Rave? Sit there and look cute. What a good dog. She's a good listener. Oh, well, now she's wagging her tail. She's a good listening dog. All right, so I um, I wanted to do a little side note on uh, fake service dogs real quick because everybody in the whole entire world is somehow confused about uh, service dogs, emotional support animals, and therapy dogs. They're all very different things. An emotional support dog, also called an ESA, is where you have um, either really bad depression or anxiety and you get a doctor's note um, from your psychologist or psychiatrist saying that you need this dog to help you calm or cope with your things. And that dog, your ESA, uh, can be any animal actually. People have had their rats be ESAs. Um, is then allowed to fly with you for free um, anywhere you want to go. Um, so people are now realizing that they can buy these fake emer ESA uh, vests online and then they just, and these certificates, and they say that, uh, that their dogs are emotional support animals and they fly for free. Now, it only costs $100 to fly with your dog, but if you have a big dog, I don't know how flying works. But, um, so that's an ESA. And then you've got your therapy animals, which are the animals that go visit people in hospitals and nursing homes and, um, and libraries and etc. And then you've got your service dogs, which, oh, and I wanted to go back, and then ESAs don't have public access. They, they can go on airplanes publicly, but they cannot go into stores where public people are allowed. Um, they can't go into restaurants, and they can't go into anywhere pets aren't allowed. ESAs cannot go because ESAs are still considered pets, not service animals, service dogs. There's only two types of service animals. There's service dogs and service horses. Um, yes, miniature horses are service animals, uh, can be anyways, um, but so service dogs then you have and you can also buy fake registration on service dogs online and you can also buy fake or real gear online. Um, people sell the gear online and they don't know who's buying it so um, as in gear, I mean uh, the patches and the vest and, and stuff like that. But, um, so anyway, so it's, it's very frustrating for a real service dog handler to have to deal with the fakes. Um, I was pretty nice to this woman. Um, like I said earlier, it's not my job to be the service dog police. Um, though the dog was riding in a basket. It was obviously not a service dog, but um, uh, she wasn't barking. The dog wasn't barking or anything. So if it was barking, I would have said something like, you know, real service dogs don't bark or something like that. But, um, but I just left it, you know, as it is. I think I even, I don't know, we, she kept asking me questions, the name of the dog, if it was a boy or girl or whatever. 
and um, and so um, it was just merely a she you know service dogs when service dog handlers go out we don't really talk to other service dog handlers because we know the whole you know you stay away from each other and so she was just like oh yeah I have a service dog oh you have a service dog oh it's dog stay out oh how cute is that and it's just it's it's just really frustrating and um, and so you know so anyway so people have fake service dogs and they get um, fake gear and fake certification there's no certification for service dogs and so um, all the certificate certificates and IDs people are flashing around are all um, are all fake and um, it's really aggravating when people abuse the system it's actually illegal in some states to it should be illegal in all states to impersonate a service dog but uh, people do it all the time and um, it's just it's really bad it's like people say oh what's the big deal it's like using a handicapped spot parking for if you're not handicapped like it's kinda like that like yeah you're not really hurting anybody but you're still abusing the system um, and so it's just it's tough uh, or annoying I find it very annoying because um, service fake service dogs are giving real service dogs bad reputations and um, so anyway so if you you know if somebody says oh my dog's a service dog I have a certificate and everything say uh -huh, certificates that's not it's not true that's fake there are no certifications for service dogs um, there are requirements however and you can do more research on that I'm not gonna get all into service dog laws and whatnot but um, but you have to have a disability and uh, that dog has to mitigate your disability um, which means help you with your disability so whatever your disability is that dog has to be trained a task or tasks to help you with your disability and Raven is trained to do so with my PTSD um, I don't like to talk about it but um, that's why I have her I don't use her for um, everyday errands and stuff like that I used to have to have her with me all the time but then I got to the point where I only need her now when I go um, on road trips and out of town and uh, when I fly and stuff like that but I do like to take her out from time to time and um, let her uh, you know out and I think she likes to work and um, and it's good to keep her you know fresh and um, and so okay so anyway so that's enough on service dog stuff um, and uh, so here are the videos that I'm going to upload and um, or maybe I'll upload the videos first this will be the after video okay so I'm gonna, you're gonna see the first video that I videoed. Well, just see what you see. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just watch it and you'll know. I've already, I've already been to Target and so it's, it's all out of whack. It's not in sequence with each other. So, um, but I think you guys are smart. I bet you'll be able to figure it out. All right, so I'm gonna post this. I'm not feeling so great right now. Um, so I'm not gonna up upload my vlogs and splice the videos together and whatnot. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get this up tomorrow. So, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I got out. I was really excited because I felt good and then I didn't feel good and then I pushed myself. But, um, but now it's time for me to just relax in bed. All right, have a good night. Focus. This way. Man, 
my nose is so runny. You are so adorable, little one. She is. She's very well behaved. Good. Little. You guys have a great Thanks. day. Thanks. You too. Oh, this was filming. That whole time, I meant to press stop. He's worried. Does he's he gonna talk to me? Does he talk to anybody? I'm like, I'm gonna get chocolate. Oh, big dog is day out. <laughs> oh, you have a dog too. Yeah. Is she a service dog? dog? I bet yeah. She's already, like, cause I did got it's great. Cute. Boy or girl? Girl. What's her name? Her name is Raven. Oh, that's a regular tail. Yeah. She's not gonna go home, right? She's cute. Thank you. What's your pooch's name? Miracle. Miracle. I like it. Nope, we're not going to go through that door, this door. You're going to meet me up there? Good job. All right, up on it. Up, up. Get in there. Go on. You can do it. Go on. Oh, you are you concerned that this is in the way? Oh, there you go. All right, good girl.